Hello friends, Sony has just announced a new vlogging, well they, they don't call it a vlogging camera, they just say it's a, they say it's the next generation, a 6400, and it's mirrorless, and it uh, has real-time autofocus, real-time tracking, and the world's fastest autofocus. How do they do this? <coughs> they do this with artificial intelligence and they, um, it has AI and it has the Beyond, Beyond uh, Z processor that the Sony A9 has. Um, I don't want to get too much into Sony history but the Sony A9 which came out I think in late 2017 is the it's considered a sports camera 20 frames per second silent shooting tremendous autofocus capability and they did mention that that is getting an upgrade that's getting an upgrade two upgrades this year one in march and another one in the fall and those upgrades are already in this a6400 A camera It has here the A6400, which is I don't I don't know why they I know there's an A6300 and the A6500. I don't know why they chose to name this one in between uh, those two because it's not it super it supersedes them. But <coughs> hey, you know anyway. So it has real time, real time eye autofocus, world's fastest autofocus at 0 0.02 seconds. It has real time tracking, and it has the Beyond Beyond X image processor, which comes in the Sony A9. And I think it's cool that it also has uh, it, it does record high resolution 4K with no pixel binning and it has uh, the advanced autofocus speed and stability and it has time lapse rec time lapse videos and and pictures which I think is really cool that's also built in and it has a 180 degree flip screen which I let me see if there's a picture in here Here it is, it has uh, advanced high resolution 4K movie recording with a fast hybrid autofocus. And it's $900 and it'll be available next month. Which I think is probably the other important spec. Given, um, I mean, if, if you've been following at all what's been happening with the camera world in the last 18 months, uh, I guess it probably started with the Sony A9 and then the Sony A7 Mark III, the Sony A7R III, and then the Nikon Z6, the Nikon Z7, the Canon, EOS R, and, and then the Fuji X-T3, the, oh, and then I believe in March will be the Panasonic full frame S1 and the S1R. Uh, as you, uh, as, as you see, um, Sony is not sitting around, you know, discounting, discounting their money. They, um, they want, they let everybody know that they are the um, number one seller of full frame cameras all, all across the world. And, um, deservedly so, because of the Sony A9. 
because of the um, A9 and the A7 III and the A7 R3. any recommends yet uh, there's too much going on and I'm kind of waiting for the Panasonic S1 to appear but um, this is a major development there's going to be um, what did they also announce a major software major software upgrades for the A9 and they said I I think they also mentioned the A7, A7 III and the AR, A7 R3 would also be getting up late. So um, that Alpha 6400, it, so, it sounds like a, 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 a stunning camera. I'm, Oh, here it is. That's a uh, yep. There is going to be a firmware version 3.0 for the A7R3 and the A7 III, and those will be April 2019. Um, we're not done. The, they said the mirrorless cameras are at 54 percent, and uh, I think. I think the sep that separation is going to continue for uh, on and on. It, there's too many too many advantages to mirrorless, and and not just because of the you know the <clears throat> less size and less weight. Some people want the size. Some people want the size. They you know for ergonomics, they want the size of a full body camera. And um, <clears throat> Sony hasn't done that, but maybe they maybe they should. Anyway, that's a whole other topic. I just wanted to update, update you on what just came out. Uh, have a wonderful uh, wonderful rest of the day. And um, I'll keep you updated when things come out.